Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the easiest lesson of the bunch, uh, infinite geometric series. Infinite means it goes on forever and ever and ever, dot, 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 or you see the infinity sign. So how do we find the sum of an infinite uh, geometric series? Okay, and so we have a worksheet at the end, so that's what that link is down there. So uh, de um, uh, here we go. So an infinite geometric series is uh, if the common ratio, if the absolute value of that is less than one, then the sum converges, which means it goes to, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, 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 smaller just to a little zero number. So when you keep adding smaller and smaller and smaller numbers, then it converges to this sum. This is our first term over 1 minus r. It's that easy, okay? So, so if uh, the absolute value of r is not less than 1, which means greater than or equal to 1, then there is no sum. So let's say r is 2, okay? So and we start at 1 and then, and then times 2 and then times 2 and times 2 and times 2 and times 2, all the way into infinity, the sum would be infinity so there is no sum when it so if they say it it diverges when there is no sum so we just got to make sure that um, you can't use this formula if the absolute value of r is not less than one okay so let's find each sum right here okay all right so remember we did this a couple lessons ago this is called sigma notation so this says the sum of n equals one plus n equals two plus n equals three plus n equals four plus n equals five so we're going to plug in n right here all the way up to infinity. Okay, so here's r, okay, and the absolute value of that is less than 1. So this does have a sum. We just need to find this first term right there. So let's go ahead and plug in n equals 1. So that's going to be our first term. So 1 minus 1 equals 0, so uh, we get 0.8 to the 0 power, and anything to the 0 power equals 1. So 5 times 1 equals 5. So that's our first term right there. All right, so let's, there's r, and then plug it in. So 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0.2, so 5 divided by 0 0.2 is 25. Okay, told you it's easy. All right, so here we go. So we got to find out r. Here's the first term. The first term is 1. We got to figure out r. We can do this divided by this, or, or this divided by this, or this divided by this. I like this pair right there. So r is um, uh, righty divided by lefty. Okay, so we just need to find the first term in r. So r is negative 3 fourths. So here we go. 1 um, uh, over 1 minus a negative 3 fourths. Okay, so 1 minus a negative 3 fourths is 1 plus 3 fourths, and, and uh, 1 is 4 fourths. So we get 1 over 7 fourths, which is just 4 sevenths. Okay, so that would converge to 4 sevenths. How about this one? Okay, so righty divided by lefty, we get uh, negative 3. Well, that's not less than 1, so this has no sum. That one diverges right there. Okay, all right. That's a fast lesson. Hope that makes sense. Take care.